Okay, so I think I figured out how to make AI be better at something than I am, finally. And what's crazy is that I have data to back up that the AI is better than I am at doing that thing. One of the things that I hate the most about content creation, I hate to say it, is reading from a script. The reason why scripts are so important in content creation is it's because it creates a very good flow of information from the creator to the listener. Uh, it keeps you engaged. It keeps you really focused on what you want to hear from the content, and it allows the information to come through in the most efficient way possible. There's two problems with that, though, when it comes to me. Number one, I freaking hate writing scripts, and number two, I'm really bad at reading them. I sound like a really bad AI. It's like I'm freaking robotic. I don't know how to convey good emotion. However, I really love doing podcasts on this channel. I really love creating content where I'm just off the dome, just speaking from the heart, you know, just getting it out there. But I can't convey that same level of emotion or enthusiasm when it comes to reading a script. I don't know why. I have no idea why that's the case. So one of the things I've been trying to figure out is how can I leverage AI to get an AI to read a script better than I can read one, which it sounds kind of crazy. But there's a company out there called Eleven Labs, not a sponsor, just the company that I'm using to figure this out. Out in case you're interested in trying this out for yourself. And with the help of David and Hans, who are working with me on this project, I think we figured out how to get an AI version of my voice to do just as good of a job, if not better than I can. And I have data to prove it. And so let me show you what we did. We took a post that I wrote on X about X that I posted about a couple months ago. It did really, really well on the platform. But as I read through it, it really turned out to be a, a very good sort of script for a video. It flowed really well, I thought, for the kind of uh, ideas I wanted to convey. And so what we did is we took that script and we passed it through an 11 labs model of my voice that used two to three hours of content from my channel of me doing podcasts, of me doing interviews, of me doing just free form off the dome type of content. And then the model trained on that voice. And then after it was fully trained, we took that script, we passed it through the model, we massaged it, we tried to get it to where we wanted it to be. And then we had an end result that we thought was pretty damn good. You may have already watched this video on my channel. Let me play a couple seconds of it so you can kind of hear what the voice sounds like. Elon Musk closed the acquisition of Twitter, now X, in October of 2022. Once that deal was closed, a bunch of advertisers left. Not bad, <laughs> not bad. And of course, if you listen to it over and over and over and over again, you can probably tell that it's slightly different than I am. It doesn't sound exactly like me. It may not be, it might not have perfect intonation in places, perfect sort of, you know, voice goes up and down. And the way that I do it, which I'm not saying is right or wrong, it's just who I am. But then we looked at the data to see how the video performed. If we look at the retention chart for this video, the gray cone, so this up thing here and the bottom thing here, the gray cone is where content typically lands on my channel. So when I upload a video, that's the average. And what's crazy here is that with this video, the purple line or the pink line in this case shows that this video retained viewers better. And of course, this is this is very eye opening for me as somebody who's trying to figure out how to remove the things that I don't quite enjoy, you know, to do on this channel as far as freaking reading a script when I feel like an idiot <laughs> reading it and instead leveraging technology to help me do that. The voice most people, they didn't even notice or they didn't mind it. And that's where I want to hear your feedback in the comment section below, because I think this technology is going to completely disrupt content creation. It's going to make it so that if somebody is able to replicate their voice in an AI model that's super close, if not exactly how they would typically speak, and they continue to generate content that number one is good and number two really harvests that trust that let's say you and I have built, as I've built this channel, as I've built my videos, where you trust me to bring you content that you can trust, as long as those two things are alive, I feel like this technology is going to change absolutely everything. Because now what's happening in my case, the way I think about it is I am now able to focus specifically on the things that I really enjoy doing about content creation, and then I can essentially offload the work of reading a script to an artificial intelligence that's going to do a better job than I will when it comes to reading the script and conveying that information. Oh, and by the way, 
if I write a bunch of scripts or I write a bunch of stories, then that's time saved for me that I don't have to sit down in front of a mic and fight with the script for two hours to get it where I want, want it to be. And then by the time I post it, I'm like, this thing's crap. <laughs> so now I get more time back and it's better. This is crazy disruptive. And this is just version one, it seems, right? Fast forward this another two years, what's going to happen when these AI models become even better at processing the data? What if they can take, you know, say 10 hours or a thousand hours of me talking and they can craft that into something that is basically like me? And then what happens when AI becomes better than me at writing the scripts? You know, what what does my voice mean within that context where the artificial intelligence could just write better scripts than I can, right? <laughs> I'm sure your mind's starting to go, okay, crap. So he can just generate scripts with AI and he can use his AI voice and he's got freaking infinite content pumping out, right? This is where we're going. This is where we're going. And I'm trying my best to navigate this uh, this weird time in, in, a, in a way where I can continue to have your trust in creating that content. And I want to make sure that I'm not veering off course when it comes to this technology, because I, I really do believe as my dog's walking around, I really do believe that this is the next generation of media companies that have built a, a lot of trust with their viewership and they continue to honor that trust through content. They're going to be able to essentially multiply their ability to create content by 10x, 100x, 1000x which points to a future where most content will be created by AI. And this is just the beginning of it, you know? Last year we had AI generated content, you know, how TikTok has that, you know, that AI voice that kind of talks and sometimes you're like, ah, oh, that's obviously AI. But now we're going to a point where I essentially can keep, quote unquote, my brand and use AI to keep true to my brand and generate even more content that theoretically will be better than anything I could have created before that technology was available. So I wanted to bring this forward to you because this is something I've been working very hard at with David and Hans for the last couple of weeks, really the last month or so. Uh, you probably noticed a uh, uh, like sh waves and shifts on the on the channel. If you follow me closely, we're always trying to experiment with content. But I think this is like a holy grail moment for content creators. And again, with your help, I want to make sure that I am doing this in the right way. I think ignoring it is the wrong way of approaching this. I know there is sort of a, an instinct for some of us to say, oh, it's AI, it's crap. It's AI, it's crap, right? And I completely respect that. And I see, you know, I understand where that comes from because it's not human. <laughs> it's not my voice. It's a freaking AI voice, right? But I think not going on that journey will render probably 99% of content creators completely obsolete. And so what I'm trying to figure out is how can I be at the forefront of that content revolution with your help to ensure that I'm not going off the freaking rails. So if you think I'm going off the, you know, if I'm going off the deep end or if I'm going the wrong direction, please leave comments. Uh, if, if you don't mind, let me know that I'm going the wrong direction with this. But I want to make sure that, I, that you never even have to do that in the first place. I'm going to take whatever step I can to use this technology responsibly and to ensure that this is for the benefit of you as well as the benefit for me, obviously, I get to leverage my time quite a bit more. But ultimately, I'm not just doing this for me, I'm also doing this for you. So I want to make sure I have your your trust on that journey. And any help you can offer me, I would appreciate. But ultimately, it's up to me to make sure that I'm doing this the right way. So just wanted to bring you up to speed. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. And we'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, everybody. Bye bye.